Welcome to Evening Prayer for Friday evening. My name's Scott Dummy and I'm the parish priest at St Peter's East Maitland. And I'm Sarah Daly, parish priest over at St Mary's at Maitland and St Christopher's at Talara Rutherford. We're saying our prayers this evening on Wanarua country and our family pays respects to elders past and present. Evening Prayer for Friday can be found on page 416 of A Prayer Book for Australia. The psalm this evening is a portion of Psalm 102, which commences on page 327 of the prayer book. Peace to those who are far off. Peace to those who are near. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We say the opening canticle, the Lord's servant, together. He was despised, he was rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, as one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Ours were the sufferings he bore, ours the torments he endured. While we thought he was being punished, struck by God and brought low. He, he was, was pierced, pierced for our sins, bruised, bruised for no fault but ours. His punishment has won our peace, and by his wounds we are healed. We had all strayed like sheep, all taking our own way, but the Lord laid on him the guilt of us all. The day is now past, and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Psalm 102 verses 12 to 28, which commences on page 327 of the prayer book. We'll say the psalm by alternate verses. But you, Lord, are enthroned forever, and your name shall be known throughout all generations. You will arise and have mercy upon Zion, for it is time to pity her. The appointed time has come. Your servants love even her stones, and her dust moves them to pity. Then shall the nations fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has built up Zion, when he shows himself in his glory. When he turns to the prayer of the destitute and does not despise their supplication. Let this be written down for those who come after and a people yet unborn will praise the Lord. For the Lord has looked down from the height of his holiness. From heaven he has looked upon the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoner, to deliver those condemned to die. That they may proclaim the name of the Lord in Zion and his praises in Jerusalem. When the nations are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord, he has broken my strength before my time. He has cut short my days. Do not take me away, O God, in the midst of my life, you whose years extend through all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They shall all grow old like a garment, like clothes you will change them, and they shall pass away. But you are the same forever, and your years will never fail. The children of your servants shall rest secure, and their seed shall be established in your sight. Holy Spirit, sanctifier, cleanse us from all hypocrisy, Unite us to one another in the bonds of peace and love and confirm us in holiness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Our reading today is from Romans chapter 10, beginning at verse 14. But how are they to call on the one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But, do, but, not, all who have, but not all have obeyed the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message. So faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have. For their voice has gone out to all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. Again I ask, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, I will make you jealous of those who, who not a nation. With the foolish nation, I will make you angry. Then Isaiah, so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me. I have shown myself to those who did not ask for me. But of Israel, he says, all day long, I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. We say the canticle, a song to the Lamb together. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have, you have made, made them to be a kingdom, kingdom and priests serving our God, and, and they will reign with you on earth. To, to the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing, be blessing and, and honour and glory and might forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your Your kingdom kingdom come, come, your will will be done on earth earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us us today today our daily bread. bread. Forgive Forgive us our our sins, as we forgive forgive those who sin against us. us. Save us from from the time of trial and and deliver us from evil. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our collect of the day for Jeremy Taylor, Bishop and Spiritual Writer. O God, our Heavenly Father, who raised up your faithful servant, Jeremy Taylor, to be a bishop in your church and to feed your flock, give abundantly to all bishops and other pastors the gifts of your Holy Spirit, so that they may minister in your household as true servants of Christ and stewards of your holy mysteries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, as we come before you this evening, We thank you for the opportunities that we have had to minister in your name today and to be ministered to ourselves. We give you thanks for the beauty of your creation that surrounds us and reminds us of your eternal love and goodness for us all. We pray that you will make us wise stewards of the many gifts that you give us. Lord our God, we pray for your church throughout the world. We pray for those who are leaders of churches. And on this day when our church remembers the ministry of a bishop, 
we pray for all bishops in their role of leadership and teaching. Locally, we pray for our bishops here in our diocese, Peter, Sonia and Charlie. We pray for their families and those who support them. We give you thanks for their leadership of us in difficult times. Gracious God, we give you thanks that your desire for us is to live lives of fullness and grace. We thank you for the many ways that we receive your blessings. We hold before you this night those who are sick in body, mind or spirit, those who are grieving, those who are affected by the COVID-19 virus. We particularly pray tonight for those who are continuing to experience lockdown situations, for those whose lives and livelihoods have been affected, for those who are suffering from this virus, for families that are anxious or grieving. We pray for those who in our communities make decisions about the good management of our society. We give thanks for our frontline workers and essential workers and the work that they do to support us. Lord, be with us and give us a deep sense of your peace and love when we are anxious and concerned. Gracious God, we pray also this evening for the many ministries and agencies that operate across our diocese. We pray for those who are working within our Anglican care. We pray for the communities that are supported through all of the facilities across our diocese. We pray for staff and volunteers across our Samaritans network and for the vital work that does that is done to alleviate suffering. We pray also for our schools and the communities that form within them and around them. Pray for those in senior leadership in our diocese, for the board of the Newcastle Anglican Corporation, and for our diocese and council. Father, we pray this evening for all parishes, for our clergy and lay leaders, and all of the people across our diocese as they seek to continue to be ministers of your gospel in lockdown situations and in places where the landscape is unsteady and unknown. Lord, be with us, bless us, inspire us, give us ears to hear and eyes to see your call to us. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, restore, establish and strengthen us. To him be the dominion, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.